do anything. I can accomplish anything. We can accomplish anything. I spend, I waste so much of my precious time forgetting that and trying to do it all myself. Go here, go there, do this, do that, do a list, make this project, do this, da, 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 da. And any of you who are in my sacred circle on Wednesday, Dee Dee and Roger, Dee Dee, my first assistant drum mistress, I was talking about my book, my second book. I'm writing my second book. You guys do? <laughs> writing my second book, I had so much trepidation about it and I had so much fear about it. And it's just like anything in your life. My book, writing, is your deal that you want to do, and your deal that you want to do, and your deal that you want to do. There's no difference. Just because it's a book doesn't, it doesn't elevate the import. Your issue is just as valid and just as important. But you have a big issue that you're not really dealing with, right? A big thing you want to accomplish, something you want to create. And it's like, oh, it's so big, and you keep doing, 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 doing some more, if I do some more. And you're doing a lot of avoiding. Right? I'm kind of working, I'm kind of sort of doing this. Yeah, I'm like thinking about it, and then I'm kind of on the website that kind of does that, so I didn't know. I'm on the internet, and it works that way, and I'm just kind of doing that. And you get further and further away from your creative dream, and my book is mine. Get Big! <laughs> Who Woman's Guide to Living Freely and Fully will be published by September 1st, 2012. Right? But it's this big thing, and I kept, I kept mind-noodling it constantly. I'm like, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How am I going to write this? And, and because I wrote a successful first book, I had gotten into this freaky mind mess up of I couldn't possibly do it again. So I had realized at one point that the surrender of the storm, just like last night, the surrender took place. And the surrender was... Spirit, I cannot create this book on my own. I cannot come up with the words that I need on, with the power behind them and the love behind them and the wisdom permeating them. I can't. But I can with you. But I can with you. And I gave an, a... a, a an act of love to spirit to say, let's do this together. And I promise on my end, I will do that what, what it takes for you to be fully in me as much as possible, as often as possible. I will dance. I will hula hoop. I will do yoga. I will meditate. I will walk in nature. I will do all the things, I will burn cedar. I will do whatever it takes to just have this love affair with you and this expression of our love be my book. And I just was the woman, just like the moon. And I waited for the sun to shine. And it shined and shined and shined. And I could start to see out of nowhere, but it was from somewhere. Okay, chapter one's going to say introducing hoop woman. Chapter two is going to be the culture of being small. Chapter three is going to be getting big. Then it's going to be part two. Part two is going to have 18 hoopisms. The first hoopism is get the right hoop for you. And then within each chapter, you're going to be able to describe what the hoopism is and then what the story is beyond the hoopism for your life. And then you're going to call to action the reader to be able to look at how that's relevant to them. And then you're going to do the acknowledgments, and it's going to be done. And I was like, yeah! That's how I want to write a book. I want to write a book with the outline given to me. So what I realized, though, in that experience wasn't just like, wow, I got this information. It was such an obvious moment in my life where, when I could really, truly surrender to spirit. Without my ego, without my mind, without my control mechanisms to say, I still need co-charge, can I need co-charge? But I just said, I'm asking. It came. I'm no different than you. So we're going to go in and we're going to start to figure out what you want. This is a big moment. 
The ripples are happening. You are in the energetic field. Do you have a choice of doing something with this energetic field to create, manifest, grow, expand, empower, release? Or you don't have to. It's okay. So we're going to use nature as part of our journey. Last night, the wind that was blowing, I imagined as I was laying, being held by my husband and holding my daughter. Last night, when the wind was blowing so fiercely, I imagined the spirit was just blowing off all of that judgment, all of that smallness that I had on me, all that stuff that wasn't serving me. And the water rinsed me clean to what I really am, which is a divine emanation. I am spirit. A beautiful, beautiful package of spirit. And the water washed me clean of that. And the fire of Beltane, this fire of celebration, I am using to transform myself into the beautiful person that I know I am. So we're going to go there. Sound good? All right. There you go. Ryan, if you can give us a little bit of quiet background. Everybody find your feet. Sit as straight as you can. As you sit straight, you allow the energy to travel through your body, through your spinal cord, through your shoshona, your energetic root, tap root. Breathe into your body. Let that divine spark that is you begin to grow with each inhale in your heart and allow it to travel down through your chest, through your spine. Your power, your essence, the you -ness. Let it travel all the way through your legs and down out your feet. And send it plunging down into the earth. Let it go deep, deep, deep. You can almost feel through the bottoms of your feet and at the base of your pelvis. You can feel the texture, the sensation, the, the temperature of all the things that you're hitting through your energetic roots as you plunge them down further into the ground right underneath you. You feel the coolness of the rocks. You feel all the life force that is in there. And you have it travel down further and further and further and further until it gets all the way down into hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles down to the very core of the planet, the iron core crystal of the planet. Your three energetic roots wrap around that iron core crystal, holding it. It's almost like it just tugs you ever so gently down as you can feel your feet and your pelvis get a little bit closer to the ground. You feel the strength of the earth through your legs, through your body, through your back. Your spine is nice and strong like a tree trunk. Your arms are relaxed, your shoulders are relaxed. It's just like you are in a tree who is just dancing in the breeze. Your shoulders are relaxed, your arms are relaxed. Your neck is nice and long as you reach for the sun, as you reach for the sun. Your energy travels out the top of your head, all the way up into the universe, into the multiverses, into all of the places that we have no idea that even exist. We have no clue of where some of this goes because the Creator is infinite. You travel through so many realms of angels and archangels and spirit guides and spirit families and ascended masters. So many helpers, so many energies that are with you all the time, that are welcoming this opportunity to plug in with you, love you, connect with you, hug you. It travels all the way up to the very core of Creator. Love. The core of love. It travels down through now in that same energy of love, of, of healing, of infinite possibilities begins to envelop you and travels down all through your face, through your brain, 
travels down into your mouth and floods your ears, this infinite knowingness that you are spirit, that you are unlimited. It travels down into your chest and into your arms, down into your back, a little bit further down, and it goes into all of your organs. Spirit just travels through all of your organs and just heals anything that it needs to, just cleanses it, and provides it its perfect environment, travels down, further down into your legs, all the way down at your feet. Your complete blending of spirit and earth. You are you. You have fully arrived into you. And on this sacred moment, and this sacred time and place, on this beautiful blue rock that we are floating in, I invite you to begin to release anything that no longer serves you through your feet down into the earth. We celebrate the earth today, we celebrate the effect of nature, and we allow it to heal us as it almost gravitationally pulls our fear out, pulls our resentment out, pulls our victimhood out, pulls our smallness out. Breathe and allow that to continue to come out, reminding yourself who you really are. And imagine, if you will, that you are in a nice, perfect spring evening. Not a cloud in the sky. The stars are magnificent. They're twinkling like it's an electric blanket above you. Twinkling lights. You're on this perfect spring day and you're wearing comfortable, beautiful clothes that you feel fantastic in, that you move in. And you and I and all of these people in this sacred space all go to the fire. And we feel the fire and its power. We are so moved by this experience of life. We are so moved by the opportunity we have to love that we begin to dance. We dance around the fire. We dance that we got through winter and spring. We dance for what are the possibilities around the corner for us. We dance with the knowingness that spirit is providing it because we are spirit. We are in complete union. That fire transforms us from individual minds to universal hearts. We dance, we dance, we dance. The wind begins to blow, and as the wind begins to blow, we feel it on our glistening skin. We begin to feel all of our agitation, all of the smallness, all the weakness that we have held onto that is not us. The wind blows it away. takes it up into Creator. We allow ourselves to use this moment in magic time to release that which no longer serves us. Go after the thing that has been haunting you. Find it within you. Find the dark corner within you that is holding that incorrect belief that you are less than. and grab it with your spirit fingers, your spirit arms, your spirit breath, and push it down through your body. Down out your feet and into the earth for her to care for. The fire continues to warm you and remind you of the power that you have within, the power of will, the power of love that you have within. And as you know that you have moved through this doorway, that you have moved into a new realm of power, 
and ability and acceptance and deserving 